Welcome to our channel. Enjoy listening to the audiobook. Write your feedback in the comments. Ram Charan and Jerry Willigan Leading through inflation and recession and stagflation. In a business landscape increasingly defined by inflation and economic uncertainty, you're facing a daunting challenge. How to steer your company through uncharted waters. This new era is not just about bracing against rising costs and supply shortages, it's an opportunity to reset, rethink and reimagine the way you do business. Traditional methods and strategies might no longer suffice. Instead, proactive leadership, embracing innovation and adapting to changing consumer behaviours become key. This involves more than just tweaking your pricing strategies or cutting costs. It requires a holistic reassessment of your business model, customer engagement and operational efficiency. You'll learn strategies for mastering inflation challenges, managing cash, reshaping pricing and innovatively cutting costs to ensure business resilience and future success. So, if you're ready, let's dive into how effective leadership can steer your business through turbulent economic times. Navigating business success in an era of high inflation. In today's business world, navigating the turbulent waters of high inflation and looming recession presents a formidable challenge. This environment, marked by rising costs, shortages and lagging pricing strategies, is unfamiliar territory for many business leaders. However, it's essential to recognise that these challenges also bring unique opportunities for reset and growth. Leadership in this era requires a comprehensive understanding of inflation's far-reaching impact on every aspect of a business. It's not enough to simply wait for external economic fixes. Proactive and decisive leadership is crucial. This means engaging all parts of the organisation in a concerted effort to tackle inflation-related issues. Some successful leaders have already set the pace by making bold moves, such as early and significant price increases, to protect their margins and prepare for the future. Let's face it, inflation consumes cash, trapping it in inventories and accounts receivable, even more so during growth phases. Price increases ripple through the value chain, eventually reaching consumers, who may push back as costs rise. Understanding these dynamics is crucial, as is recognising that aggregate measures like the Consumer Price Index don't fully capture inflation's impact on individual companies. The psychological aspect of inflation also plays a role, where expectations of continual price hikes can lead to hoarding and further demand imbalances. However, there is a silver lining to inflation. It presents a chance to eliminate excesses, sharpen focus and build a stronger customer base. Businesses can become more productive and cost-effective, potentially leading to the creation of new products or industries. Inflation's challenges can actually be a catalyst for resetting business models and adopting new strategies for sustainable growth. This needs to involve a company-wide response. Sales and marketing, finance and HR must all adjust their strategies to address the inflationary environment. This includes rethinking pricing strategies, managing cash more effectively and revising performance metrics to align with the new economic realities. Remember, inflation is not an insurmountable obstacle. It offers an opportunity for businesses to refine their operations, focus on quality growth and position themselves more competitively for the future. Leaders who understand and embrace these dynamics, adapting their strategies accordingly, will not only navigate their businesses through these turbulent times, but also emerge stronger and more resilient. War Room Strategies for Navigating Economic Uncertainty When facing inflation, consider the concept of a war room. This proactive strategy enables businesses to detect and respond swiftly to economic shifts, a necessity exemplified by the late 2021 inflation spike, further aggravated by global events such as Russia's invasion of Ukraine and China's stringent COVID-19 lockdowns. A war room is a hub for gathering information, strategizing and implementing action plans. It transforms the anxiety and fear induced by economic instability into focused, purposeful action. This approach is not just about firefighting current problems. It's also about strategic foresight and preparing for what might come next. 
For instance, Catalint, a biopharmaceutical company, effectively utilized this approach under CEO John Chiminsky. By June 2021, Catalint had already recognized the enduring nature of wage inflation, particularly in key biopharma hubs, and took steps to address the rising turnover rates and escalating operational costs. The creation and functioning of a war room can vary from one company to another. Some may adapt existing meeting formats, while others might develop entirely new structures. The key is to ensure regular focused discussions on both current challenges and future threats. The involvement of top leadership, including CEOs and boards, is crucial in these initiatives. A war room's effectiveness lies in its ability to aggregate diverse information, align team efforts and drive forward comprehensive strategies. This approach was vital for companies like DuPont under CEO Ed Breen, where regular meetings evolved into critical sessions addressing the pandemic's impact and later supply chain disruptions and cost increases. Early warning signals are a crucial aspect of a war room's function. These can emerge from various sources such as customers, supply chains and industry statistics. And all of them require attentive monitoring. The importance of being predictive and prescriptive cannot be overstated. It's about making informed judgments that extend beyond mere data points, anticipating market shifts and preparing accordingly. The war room concept underscores the need for agility and adaptability in today's business environment. Companies must be prepared to act quickly, leveraging all available information and insights. In doing so, they can turn challenges into opportunities, ensuring not just survival, but also the potential for growth and competitive advantage in uncertain economic times. Mastering cash management in inflationary times. In an economic landscape shaped by inflation, mastering cash management is a critical survival skill for businesses. Meticulously tracking and predicting cash flows becomes essential, transcending traditional profit and loss considerations. You need to change your focus from mere profit percentages to a robust understanding of cash profits. The perils of neglecting cash management are stark. Inflation can render seemingly stable contracts risky, especially if they're locked into fixed prices without cost adjustments. Additionally, reliance on variable rate loans or unanticipated higher cash payments can destabilize financial structures. Particularly vulnerable are industries heavily dependent on energy, either directly or indirectly. A nuanced approach to customer relationships is also imperative. Businesses must scrutinise each relationship through the lens of cash impact rather than solely on profit margins. For instance, customers who significantly delay payments might not be worth the seemingly attractive margins they offer. This perspective shift was exemplified by a major American bank that chose to sever ties with certain commercial customers due to their adverse effects on the bank's balance sheet. Preemptive action based on early warning signals is invaluable. Indorama Ventures' strategic response to inflation, initiated in 2020, involved locking a substantial portion of its debt on a fixed basis and boosting liquidity. This forward-thinking approach underlined the importance of preparedness in uncertain times. Effective management of working capital is essential when navigating inflation. Both accounts receivable and inventory are major components of working capital that require close monitoring. In high inflation, the challenge intensifies as it becomes harder to generate cash profits and borrowing costs escalate. Inventory management also requires attention. The goal is to maintain low inventory levels while fulfilling customer needs. A balancing act made more complex during inflation and potential recessions. Advanced digital technologies can aid in this endeavour, offering sophisticated tools for managing inventory more effectively. Ultimately, businesses must reprioritise their use of cash, considering various demands ranging from business continuity to digitalisation and supply chain efficiency. This reprioritization involves a comprehensive review of current plans and investments with a focus on cash generation and long-term viability. In times of inflation, businesses must adopt a laser-focused approach to cash management, balancing the various demands on their resources while maintaining a clear vision for future growth and stability. 
Adapting Pricing Strategies for Economic Resilience Consider the importance of pricing strategy during times of economic shift. No longer a peripheral concern, pricing stands at the forefront of a company's survival toolkit in the face of inflation, recession or stagflation. Understanding the nuanced impact of pricing on profitability and customer relations is more critical than ever. The current economic landscape requires a departure from conventional pricing practices. For instance, businesses traditionally reliant on transactional sales might find greater stability in subscription-based models. Similarly, industries previously shunning surcharges may now find them necessary. Consider the contrasting fortunes of two lumber distributors during the volatile market of 2021. One, adopting an index-based pricing model with a fixed margin, thrived as lumber costs soared, while the other struggled due to its reliance on customer negotiations. The range of available pricing strategies is broad and selecting the right mix is crucial. Whether it's transactional, subscription-based or contractual sales, each method has its strengths in different economic scenarios. For example, transactional businesses or those with a cost-plus strategy aligned with an index are well-positioned in inflationary times. Conversely, businesses with fixed long-term contracts without inflation adjustments face heightened risks. A key takeaway is the potential benefit of shifting towards value-based pricing. This approach not only helps in renegotiating untenable contracts, but also ensures that prices reflect the true value offered to customers. The importance of accurate cost measurement in cost-plus pricing cannot be overstated. It's fundamental to maintaining profitability. The urgency and frequency of price changes are another crucial factor. Companies must accelerate the pace of their price adjustments to avoid missing out on crucial revenue. Leaders need to confront the psychological aversion to price hikes head-on, ensuring that price changes are implemented effectively and promptly. In addition to the actual pricing, the approach includes surcharges, fees and terms and conditions. Surcharges in particular are a useful tool for recovering sudden cost increases and generating immediate profits. Finally, customer segmentation is paramount. Tailoring pricing strategies to different customer segments can enhance profitability and customer satisfaction. Automating price adjustments for certain segments can alleviate the pressure on sales teams, mitigating sales force fatigue. Overall, navigating through inflationary times requires a strategic overhaul of pricing approaches. Businesses must be agile, considering various pricing models and strategies, and be ready to adapt to maintain their competitive edge and financial stability. Innovative cost management for business growth in challenging times. A big challenge faced by companies is cutting costs without compromising their growth and operational efficiency. Catalan's approach exemplifies a strategic response to this challenge. In response to the necessity of raising employee compensation in a competitive talent market, the company initiated the Total Cost Excellence Program. This initiative involved multiple teams across the organisation, each dedicated to identifying and implementing cost savings in different business areas, from HR and lab expenditures to IT and travel costs. The key to successful cost cutting in such scenarios lies in a comprehensive analysis that goes beyond the obvious. Companies must scrutinise all direct and indirect costs and consider if radical changes, such as altering the value chain or revising the geographic footprint, might yield significant savings. The goal is not just to survive the inflationary period, but to emerge with stronger customer relationships and an improved overall business model. A case study from the apparel and footwear industry in Southeast Asia, particularly hit by the pandemic and inflation, illustrates this point. One medium-sized footwear company stood out by viewing inflation as an opportunity to differentiate itself. Instead of transferring rising costs to customers, the company focused on internal efficiencies. This approach included streamlining the organizational structure starting at the top. This not only saved costs, but also made the company more agile and responsive to customer needs. Expanding the vision beyond the company's own walls, the footwear company's management team aimed to strengthen the entire value chain. 
They helped customers with early commitments to avoid cost increases and assisted manufacturers in optimizing their production processes. This holistic approach was aimed at reducing costs and improving operational efficiency across the value chain, benefiting suppliers, the company and its customers. The quest for cost reduction also led to re-evaluating the company's geographic footprint. Exploring new production locations like Mexico and the Caribbean offered benefits such as faster delivery to US markets and reduced markdowns. Furthermore, the company reconsidered the placement of its managers, moving them closer to production facilities to enhance decision-making and operational efficiency. By focusing on internal efficiencies, strengthening the value chain and reconsidering geographic strategies, businesses can navigate challenging economic periods while laying the groundwork for future growth and success. Adapting Business Models for Economic Resilience and Growth The core of adapting to economic inflation lies in rethinking your company's business model. This evolution is not just about adjusting to short-term market fluctuations. You need to fundamentally rethink how your business operates to thrive in a landscape of altered consumer behaviours and lower consumption levels. To do so, start by re-evaluating the elements of your business model. Sources of revenue, customer and product mix, geographic footprint and the overall cost structure. This re-evaluation must happen proactively without waiting for a cascade of evidence signalling the old model's failure. Ignoring the signs can lead to declining earnings and fewer options for making necessary changes. Innovation and digitalization are integral to this process. They are not merely tools for maintaining competitiveness, but catalysts for transformation. For example, embracing digital solutions can help in cutting costs, boosting revenue through customization, and making innovation more cost-effective and efficient. A compelling case study of this adaptive approach is TVS Motors, an Indian motorbike company. Faced with rising costs and shifting market demands, TVS Motors redefined its customer segments, focusing more on premium products that could command higher prices. This strategy was coupled with innovations that resonated with their target market, ensuring that higher prices were justified by increased value. TVS Motors also restructured its dealer network, moving from a credit-based system to a cash-and-carry model. This shift improved efficiency and financial prudence across the value chain, helping the company and its dealers navigate the inflationary period more effectively. These strategic changes led to a new business model for TVS Motors, one that focused on micro-segmentation of products and customers. This approach not only increased the company's market share and enhanced its brand image, but also positioned it for profitable growth post-inflation. The company's journey highlights the importance of being agile and responsive to market changes, leveraging innovation and rethinking traditional business practices. As businesses navigate through periods of economic uncertainty and inflation, the need to renew and adapt their business models is paramount. By focusing on innovation, embracing digitalization and redefining their market approach, companies can successfully transition through challenging times and emerge stronger and more resilient. The main takeaway of Leading Through Inflation by Ram Charan and Jerry Willigan is that in times of high inflation and economic upheaval, businesses must be agile and proactive in adapting their strategies. This involves a deep understanding of inflation's impact, strategic cash management, innovative cost cutting and dynamic pricing strategies. Crucially, these challenges present opportunities for growth and development. By embracing change, focusing on customer needs and leveraging technology. Businesses can not only withstand economic challenges, but also emerge stronger and more competitive. With the right mindset, leaders can transform obstacles into stepping stones for future success.